25. 25 dogs today, we had 27, some of them 27 yesterday, so some of them are probably the same and some of them are probably uh, different. Uh, you do have different people over the weekend, don't you, Shia? But uh, let's, uh, we're going to ask everybody to walk around the arena and then to come into the middle. And at that point, ladies and gentlemen, if we can have the gates open, at that point, please do come into the arena and come and talk to the owners. I'm going to carry on talking to Sheila here, and then I'm going to talk to one or two of the owners yourself. So, opportunity for you to come into the arena and uh, come and see these dogs, and uh, bring in the boys and girls as well. I'm sure we'd like to see those. There we are. Come on into the middle now, please, folks, if you would. That's super. Spread yourselves out around the arena and then people can come in. The gate is at the far end here. Come on round. Come on in. We're going to have about uh, 15 minutes or so uh, to have a look at these lovely dogs. Now in the meantime, I'm going to ask Sheila. She's given me a crib sheet here, you see. She's so well organised. And it's called 10 Things You Never Knew About the Sussex Spaniel. So, first of all, um, what type of dog is the Spaniel, the Sussex Spaniel? What is it as a working dog? Well, it's a mating dog. It's a dog that flushes the game with a gun to shoot. They do retrieve, you know, but they're not the best retrievers, but their, their forte is beating because they will push through the cover rather than jump over it like some of their busy spaniels do. They're quite a steady working dog. Uh, so, do uh, are many of these dogs actually work too? Um, yes, quite a lot of people, even though they show the dogs, the dogs show in the winter, they'll go out beating on open shoots. Some of them will even attempt some field trials. There's a few of us here who, who do work with them.